Hello and good day to everyone. Welcome to Study Painting and Decoration and Digital Marketing and Communication in Australia Pacific Training Group. Hello also to all of our viewers from LinkedIn, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. My name is Ines. And I am Kim. And we will be your hosts this evening. Welcome to all of our viewers from Japan. Thank you for joining us in another live event. That's right. We have a viewer here. Hi there, Yusuf. Thank you for joining us and I hope you stay with us until the end. And so without further ado, let's dive into our program. To start with, Kim, can you give us an overview of about who Pacific Training Group is? I would love to, Ines. Pacific Training Group or PTG is one of the leading vocational education training providers here in Australia. We have been in the industry since 2015 with more than 20 Australian qualifications and over 30 short courses. In 2019, we started to offer these courses online as well. With more than 50 industry partners, we are able to help our students to get into studying and living in Australia more easily. We also have modern campuses, experienced trainers, and great connections to industry. Plus. You will also have access to our world-class e-learning resources through our platform called PTG Online. That's right. Here at PTG, we strive to have a great community of trainers, staff, and other learners who will support our students throughout their journey. Now, this wouldn't be possible if we didn't have our own pace of learning, right? So depending on your preference, you may choose to study in any of our two campuses. The first one is our Sydney campus, located in Vermont, New South Wales. And to quote the famous Australian filmmaker, one of the great things about Sydney is that it has a great acceptance of everyone and everything. It's an incredibly tolerant city, a city with a huge multicultural basis. I agree, Sydney is indeed beautiful. We also have our Gold Coast campus located in Surfer's Paradise, Queensland. Let's watch these videos for a sneak peek of student life in Sydney and Gold Coast. I'm 
whether it's Emerald City or Gold Coast City, we are both dis- they are worth discovering. I just love it when your place of learning can also be place of relaxation and discovery. Indeed, Kim. Watching the video suddenly makes me want to see some fireworks or maybe even go surfing on Gold Coast. Well, before you get carried away with the vacation fails, let's talk about the benefits of studying abroad. Alright, so as you can see, 97% of study abroad graduates will land a job in 12 months or less. They'll also earn higher salary, get more skills, and match more jobs. Very promising, don't you think, Kim? Yes, because here in PTG, we do our best to give the needed training and to connect our students to job opportunities or further studies. That, that's nice. So even after I finish my studies, I can still stay in Australia, get a job, meet more people and develop my skills, right? That's correct. And that's what Pacific Training Group is here for. All right. Now, before we continue, Kim, I, I'd like to ask, what are your hobbies or do you have a hobby? Well, as of now, I'm starting to learn how to do crochet. I'm starting with a little um, piece of project, which is a pencil holder or a pencil case. How about you, Ness? For me, I've had um, I've, I've been into gardening for a while um, alongside my usual um, cycling. Well, that's great. And in and for this one, can you share us as well? Um, so that does mean that PTG has course related to our hobbies. That's right. PTG is now offering the painting and decoration course. Painters and interior decorators are high in demand, plus the industry is still expanding, so there is no better time than now to get started. That's right, Ines. If you are looking at a more flexible work-life balance and explore beyond the traditional 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. schedule, becoming a decorative contractor may be the path for you. And not just that, Kim, our students who complete this course would also be able to work for a variety of interesting employers or maybe even start their own business. So we have two qualifications under this course. The first one is Certificate 3 in Painting and Decorating. Can you tell us more about this, Kim? Sure. This qualification provides a trade outcome in painting and decorating for residential and commercial construction work. To get a painting constructor's license in many Australian states, you must have an appropriate qualification such as Certificate 3 in Painting and Decorating. With this qualification, you could turn any room from drab to beautiful. You will get an experience to experience practical activities such as preparing surfaces for painting, applying paint and wallpaper, using a variety of painting equipment, creating textured surfaces, working in the construction industry and embedding WHS policies, and procedure in the workplace. When students complete this course, they can become a painter or a decorator. Thank you, Kim. And our second qualification is the Diploma of Interior Design. This qualification is perfect for those who are innovative and want to design spaces. You'll be trained in various related fields such as researching a client's goal and requirements, planning, arranging, and styling space, preparing detailed client presentations, studying color schemes, furnitures, fabrics, fixtures, and lighting, working with builders, architects, and service contractors, and preparing detailed design documentation. Upon graduation, you can be an interior decorator, a color consultant, interior stylist, interior designer, and soft fur- furnishing consultant. Well, these are very promising indeed, Ines. So once again, we have the Certificate 3 in Painting and Decorating and the Diploma of Interior Design. Let's watch this video for a house tour of an award-winning interior designer here in Sydney. My name's Kirsten Stanisich. I'm a director of Richard Stanisich, and this is Redfern Terrace, which is my home. (music) 
I'm an architect specialising really in interior design, so I've worked a lot on the house in terms of the design and the refurbishment of the house. Redfern's a really interesting suburb. It's probably one of the oldest suburbs in Sydney. It's located really close to the city, but it's also got a really beautiful leafy outlook. We've got a lot of people walking around the street, so there is a sense of community, and I think that that's got a really great energy about it, and I think it's really important that you feel just as great inside your house as you do outside your house. I think the house does feel really calm. Home really needs to be somewhere that you can recharge, and it does have a tranquil kind of relaxed quality to it. I think the light within the house is quite unusual for a terrace. It feels fresh and it feels open. The front of the house faces east. So in the morning, um, when I'm having breakfast, there's light coming through the stained glass windows into the hallway, so the hallway kind of lights up as a little bit of sort of soft and muted colour. Later in the afternoon, there's a lot of sun that comes through back into my dining space. The layout of the house actually stayed exactly the same. I've just taken out the island bench um, and have created a wall-to-wall -wall kitchen so that you've got the view from the living space that runs back to the garden. There is a sense of being inside the house and a sense of being outside the house. And although I haven't sort of finished working on the garden spaces, I think for a tight urban location, there's something quite beautiful about that really small scale experience of your outdoor space and how important that is for the light um, inside the house. There's a three-dimensional quality to the joinery externally. It's got the ribbed timber. So again, even when you're touching it, you can feel that three-dimensional quality to it. But it also has a little bit of a nod to that kind of Victorian era, rather than having a really slick kind of built-in um, quality to it. I think one of the, um, the challenges is between, you know, how much do you repair? There's already a patina to some of the finishes. There's funny skirting boards that don't line up. I think it's lovely just to say new is new and old is old, but have a conversation between the two elements together. I think that's its beauty as well. All the feature colours in the house are actually inspired by the heritage stained glass that was in the house when I came here. So if you look at all the colours, they all draw back into the um, original stained glass in the doors. There's clear glass, there's lilac -y blues and soft pinks running through the house. I've got a light fitting from E15 which matches the actual colours of the original stained glass. And there's something very beautiful about having the contemporary and the old pieces talking to each other. I think it's great to find something that works for you and, um, and, and look after it rather than necessarily feeling like you have to come into a space and always completely reinvent it. Great paintwork and joinery and stonework is what is important to me and I guess that's where I see the beauty and that's what excites me. The great thing about being your house is you really don't have to justify a lot of it more than this is what I'm responding to and collecting those elements together and how your house kind of becomes this, this almost like this shell or this enclosure that you can bring those things together and keep building on them. Wow, what an experience, Kim. I agree, Ines. I didn't know there's so much to consider in styling and design of a house. I bet that's why some people really have to study because I, I'm sure there's so many things to consider such as light, um, weather, where you are, where your house is facing. I agree, especially with the location as well of the house that you would like to build. That's right. Now moving on, Kim, are you on any social media apps right now? Well, I am. I've got Facebook, I've got Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, YouTube, and even TikTok, you name it. Wow, so you're everywhere. I'm going to follow you, okay? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> anyway, do you ever wonder how people online come up with great content and a lot of followers? Yes, content con Content creators and social media influencers have thousands, even millions of views and likes. The digital revolution has driven the marketing industry in the last decade and will continue to do so for more years to come. In fact, social media marketing got you watching this live session tonight. 
exactly and they can turn it into an income generating business right so if you want to know how to do that then our digital marketing and communication course is perfect for you that's right social media marketing is one of the fastest growing industries today Everyone around the world has at least one social media account, right? So I'm sure it's exciting to learn how about on how to manage your social media for different organizations. Also, I heard Ines that the pay is good. That's right, Kim. The salaries that you see here are just the average for marketing and social media related jobs. Very promising, right? That's correct. And to ensure PTG delivers the best quality of training, we have highly qualified trainers who share their experience to our students. The first one is Simon Rodi, who has been in the digital marketing industry for 20 years. He also operates twin consultancies that focuses on content development and content marketing. Finally, he is passionate about content marketing and creates wonderful content for his clients. And he wants to share all of this with his students. Yes, and we also have Stephen Schilling, who has been in the fields of digital marketing and social media for more than 10 years. He has multiple qualifications related to interactive entertainment, media arts and production, leadership and management, marketing, and of course, training and assessment. With highly qualified trainers like Simon and Stephen, our students can rest assured to receive only the best training. That's right, and to give everyone an overview of how social media has evolved in the recent years and why there is a need to learn digital marketing, let's watch this video.
Here are five reasons why you need digital marketing skills. One, it gives you options. One of the best things about being a digital marketer is having choices. You can choose to work from an agency or work client side. You can use your skills to freelance or start your own business. There are so many opportunities. Two, digital marketing skills in demand. They're sought after by companies, and if you have highly specialized skills in digital marketing, you might be even more in demand. Three, it can give you a good paycheck. As a digital marketer, you have opportunities to enjoy a fast-paced, exciting and well-paid career. Four, marketing is digital marketing. Can you imagine being a marketer in this day and age and not having a clue about how a brand should use social media? or not having a clue about what SEO is. If you want to be a good marketer, you need to understand digital. In fact, if you want to be any kind of half-decent marketer, you need digital skills. Five, if you're a business owner, digital marketing can take your business to the next level. Learn digital marketing and you'll get to know how to find people online, then turn them into customers. I bet digital marketing is something we all have to learn no matter what industry we work in. Don't you think so, Kim? Indeed, Ines. Remember the video earlier with the award-winning interior designer? They are able to share their talent and services via social media like YouTube. So it's good news to all of our students that PTG is updated with the needs of today's world. And so, we have three qualifications for marketing and communication. The first one is the Diploma of Digital Marketing. Immerse yourself in the latest digital marketing trends and learn how to create successful campaigns that will grow your business online. In this qualification, you are expected to be competent in understanding audiences and online customer behavior, analysis results, results and analyzing results and metrics sorry creating persuasive copywriting next we have the diploma of social media marketing where you will learn all there is to know about the different social media platforms you will also learn how to build social media marketing strategies and implementation plans which can be then applied to your business once completed you are expected to demonstrate the following skills create or creating high converting content, developing your own social media strategy, ex um, establishing presence in social media, developing social media advertising strategies, building a personal brand, managing conversation conversion strategies, and undertaking real life projects. Finally, we have the Advanced Diploma of Marketing and Communication. This trains you for leadership roles who will analyze, design, and make decisions using your creative skills. And once completed, you're expected to demonstrate the following skills. Creating advertising campaigns, developing marketing plans and strategies, maintaining business networks, implementing business plans, conducting market research, measuring marketing effectiveness, and managing innovation and continuous improvement. Yes, and please take note that entry to the Advanced Diploma requires either the completion of these five units or four years of full-time relevant work experience. When you complete these courses, your career opportunities include Digital Marketing Manager, Social Media Consultant, Marketing Director, and many more. Wow, very exciting jobs indeed. So again, we have the Diploma of Digital Marketing, Diploma of Social Media Marketing, and the Advanced Diploma of Marketing and Communication. Now that we've discussed our painting and decoration, um, as well as digital marketing and communication courses, Kim, can you walk us through our education pathway? Definitely. And to continue, PTG's education pathway is really easy. All our courses are delivered in English, so you can start with an English course if you think that you have to improve your English. 
or if you are already good in that language, you may proceed directly to any of the courses discussed. Afterwards, you can continue higher education like completing a university degree or taking up another qualification. Or you can go ahead and use your learning on your current and prospect work. Now, when you enroll, you also have the option to either study on campus, which allows our students to have an actual class with their trainers, meet other students, and instantly address concerns. And you also have the option of studying 100% online. This gives students convenience, especially for those who are always on the go. Students can complete their units anytime and wherever they may be. Now, please take note that due to the practical nature of this course, um, our painting and decoration is only available for campus delivery. Thank you for that, Ines. So if you want to enroll now, when can I start? Good question, Kim. If you're studying on campus, we have a timetable to follow. Our next intake is on the 3rd of July, but if you feel that you need more time to prepare, we also have intakes in August, September, and October. You can even plan as far ahead as 2024 and 2025. That's right. PTG also thinks about the personal schedule of our students. That's why we have term breaks for our students to relax and explore the many beautiful places in Australia. Amazing. So aside from studying, our students can also travel. All right. So now let's talk about how to get started. Ines, can you tell us more about the requirements for enrollment? Sure. So our requirements for enrollment have been simplified. All you need to do is at least be 18 years of age, have completed year 11 or equivalent studies, and have an upper intermediate level of English or higher, IELTS 5.5 or equivalent, or taken past PTG's language, literacy, and numeracy, or what we call LLN assessment. For the documents, you only need to send copies of your valid passport. Academic transcript um, has to be original and translated in English, um, updated CV or, or your resume, and your English proficiency document. So pretty much the basic requirements that are easy to comply with. And if you have all the documents ready, go ahead and send us a message at inquiries at pacifictraining.edu.eu and one of our education advisors will get back to you for further assistance. Now, PTG can also help in processing and completing visa applications with the help of our migrating expert. And when you arrive in Australia, you can also avail of our airport pickup services so you can go straight to your accommodation. And speaking of accommodations, we also have partnered with the following companies to ensure the comfort of, the stud of our students leaving. So we have Study Vision, Global Experience, Australian Homestay Network or AHN, and we also have Linked through Student Living. These companies provide different options like homestay, co-living options, parents nominated accommodations, and caregiving services. These are highly secured facilities, affordable and most especially comfortable. There are also packages which include meals and utilities, all to make sure our students live in a hassle-free lifestyle while studying in Australia. And now let's watch this video for an overview of the different accommodation types and arrival tips as well as a testimonial from one of our students. Okay. Every lunch and every dinner, uh -huh. he cooks and I yeah. cook. Okay. You're just like wife and husband. Hey, Juan, should we buy some some rice? Oh, uh, yeah, darling. Living with other people, it's quite hard for me because I'm a little bit messy, but it's make me grow up quickly, though. Homestay was so much fun. I I love living with the Australian family, so I miss them so much. Living on campus is so much fun, and um, the fact that you can make friends from all over the world and get together, it's amazing. I 
love you. I miss you, my darling. I never knew how to cook before I came here, but I'm being a professional of Korean food. Being proud of myself. Today, we look forward to welcoming you to Australia. Here are some tips for a smooth arrival into Sydney Airport. Once you've touched down, step one is going through the Australian Border Force. Make sure to have your passport, student visa and other documents ready to show the officer. Next, it's time to collect your bags. Look out for the baggage collection signs and make your way down to the carousels. Once you're there, check out the screens to find your flight number and which belt your bag will be on. Now you're ready to visit the New South Wales International Student Welcome Desk. Look out for the friendly volunteers in bright pink t-shirts. Give them a wave and say hi. They can answer all your questions and will have the information you need, including transport, SIM card and general advice. There are a few different transport options. You can catch the train direct to the city, catch a rideshare or taxi, or arrange to meet a friend at the pickup zone. Safe travels! We look forward to welcoming you to Sydney and New South Wales and wish you well for your studies. You're going to love it. I came to Australia to improve myself, to study and create a better career, always looking for new experiences and a different lifestyle. After a short period in Sydney, still getting used to a new routine, the Covid arrived and made everything more difficult than I thought it could be. I had to invent ways to keep paying bills. I was away from home, from my family and my friends. The social distance made the process of making new friends be harder. Many times I felt alone, but at this point, the Pacific Training Group became a big gift for me. Good morning, Talita. How are you? Good morning. I'm good and you? I'm very good. Absolutely great to see you today. I started having classes online with one of the best professors I have ever had in my life. The support online from the staff is another point that helped me a lot. Today I can say that I see hope in the future because the school gave me ways to improve my abilities. They believe in their students and make us fight for a better future. And I want to thank all of them to believe in me. I will keep my journey always looking forward. That was a very touching testimonial, don't you think, Kim? I agree. Moving to moving and studying in Australia is truly made easy when they are with PTG. Indeed, especially during the lockdown, it's good to see that in those difficult times, PTG was able to provide a community for our students to continue their studies and skills development online. I agree, Ines. 
And to further assist our students and graduates, we have collected here a list of portals where you can explore many job opportunities we have. And we understand that looking for a job can be challenging, especially if you are in a new country or city. So, we have created this guide to help you with your goals and we not only supply the resources for you, but we also took the time to review them. You can check out Seek, Indeed, Gold Coast Students, Job, Joria, Workforce Australia, and Gumtree. They can also connect with our employment partners, namely Empire Hospitality, The Hotel School, O'Reilly's Rainforest Retreat, or through PTG's student internship program where they get to work with PTG. So many opportunities indeed if you guys decide to study in Australia the Pacific Training Group. Absolutely, Ines. So what are you waiting for? Send us a message or schedule a meeting with one of our education advisors to assist you with your needs. Thank you for that, Kim. You know, some of our viewers may be interested in other courses which we have already covered in previous live events. But as a recap here are all the courses of PTG. We have Hospitality Management, Event Management, Marketing and Communication, IT Cybersecurity, Project and Program Management, Human Resources, Leadership and Management, Retail Management, and Painting and Decoration. And we will have one final live event here in South Korea to give you guys an overview of each course. So we have Study in Australia, which is on June 23rd, Friday. So that is 6 p.m. Japan Standard Time or 7 p.m. Sydney Time. For more information, please make sure to visit our official website. And that would be pacifictraining.edu.au. Pacific uh, for our Facebook page, that would be Pacific Training Group. And we have our Twitter at Pacific Training Tree, at Instagram, which is Pacific Training EDU AU. Alright, thank you so much for staying with us until the end. I hope we were able to inspire you to study in Australia and enroll in Pacific Training Group. So Kim, I believe we're ready to wrap up for today. Yes, Ines, and on behalf of Pacific Training Group team, I would like to thank everyone for joining our virtual program, Study Painting and Decoration and Digital Marketing and Communication in Australia Pacific Training Group. We look forward to seeing you in Australia and here at Pacific Training Group, where your successful career starts. This has been your host, Kim and Ines. See you soon and have a lovely afternoon. Bye for now. I'm Adria Bayarri, I'm from Barcelona. I'm studying leadership and management on Pacific. I've been now doing it for five months. At the moment, we are building a business company with my partners, uh, specialized on events. I decided to do this course because I wanted to improve my abilities to speak with people, my skills, and I think it's very useful at, at this moment of my life because at the same time I'm having the experience of my company, I'm learning as well a different part of it uh, by the course. So we are learning also all how to speak with the people, how to manage a big team, uh, security stuff, and yeah, it's very useful. Australia is amazing, everyone is just so nice and you can see that the beach and, and all the way around is so clean. We are all the time with the longboard around, everyone is just with a, with a good mood, with a sunny day always. And yeah, it's beautiful to live here, we are so, so lucky. This is so easy to, to make friends, uh, everyone is so friendly. With the English, it's so easy to just communicate and yeah, with the course and the business, we are learning that everyone is different, we have different cultures and we have uh, different ideas about life and this is so beautiful about Australia, that even if you come from different parts of the world, at the end, everyone is going to be together.
I believe that spending money on Australia and investing money to come here is a, a way to invest money on yourself. And in the future, you will really see the results.